My name is Vanessa Kwan and I'm the program director at Grunt Gallery in Vancouver. Grunt Gallery is an artist-run center that was formed in 1984 in Vancouver, BC. And since that time, we've uh, been at a gallery space in Mount Pleasant. Um, and we also do a number of non-exhibitions related activities, uh, including the Mount Pleasant Community Art Screen, a number of public art initiative, community aid, community engaged projects, and our Blue Cabin floating artist residency. I think artist-run centers are a vital part of the art ecology for a number of different reasons. I mean, in Canada, it's a very specific kind of history. Artist-run centers have always played an incredibly important role for um, giving artists communities agency in defining what is important to them and what kind of works they would like to see represented uh, within the wider cultural landscape. I feel like Grunt has been uh, one of those centers that was formed uh, in response to what the artists in that initial uh, foundational group felt were really being acknowledged in the wider Vancouver landscape. I think also artists and centers provide a really amazing launching point for a number of careers where people get their first show or they kind of like develop their skills and their awareness of the kind of professionalization of the art community. And I also think more and more artists and centers are places where people turn for a kind of leadership in being adaptive to change. For me, my investment in artist and culture is really around this idea that um, you can imagine things differently from these vantage points, from these unique vantage points. And often um, being a smaller or mid-sized organization allows you to be quite nimble. So we are welcoming people to our facility for the time being, and we are practicing social distancing and everything. So all the protocols are in place. Uh, and we also have all of our social media, our website. Um, of course, we are always happy to welcome the patrons of the gallery and so we have um, all of our contact information is on our website, which is grunt.ca. We do provide an accessible platform for artists in multiple disciplines, and we welcome um, folks to get in touch. Given the challenges of 2020, of course, we've had to make a lot of changes at the gallery. And so we, we took a little bit of time and regrouped a little bit. And when Marlene's show opened in September, we made sure to make um, interviews available, an online exhibition tour, things like that. And we, we, we did do a couple of events over the summer that were online. Um, and then we started doing the work of thinking through how, how actually this is a bit of an opportunity. Um, and some of the feedback was that some folks who weren't, for a number of reasons, able to make it out to an opening or the gallery or whatever um, were actually given access and so this digital platform was allowing a kind of broader access to our programs and a number of different ways that we can support artists and so we've had a lot of conversations within the um, within the organization around how to provide um, uh, best practices of accessibility for those online offerings. Some of the things that I think are really exciting about this is that there's more and more galleries, um, institutions, and um, content providers who are getting more of a facility around creating uh, captioned content or transcriptions or uh, ASL interpreted content or content that can be uh, translated into other languages. So. I think for us, we're at the beginning of our journey in that respect, but we're really taking it very seriously around like, oh, well, we've had to do this change. Why don't we try and do it right and uh, put some resources into making this content as accessible as possible? And for me, post COVID, I, I don't think that's going to change for us. I think this is actually an opportunity for us to acknowledge that not everyone was able to make it to the physical space for a number of reasons. Um, and it also was a great way to archive work. So I actually see this as a huge benefit to artists to have more and more accessible content, um, more artist interviews, um, more exhibition tours that are available as an archive. So in that regard, I think the, the emphasis on physical presence actually has a really positive potential. Um, of course, nothing can replace it, to some degree being together, um, but I think we can take some really positive things from this as well.